Hello, my name is Abdullah Zurg. I'm a pediatric surgeon at the Mayo Clinic. Today we'll be talking about a little known disease called median arcuate ligament syndrome. It's also known by another name, celiac artery compression syndrome. For today, we're going to call it the median arcuate ligament syndrome. So the diagnosis of median arcuate ligament syndrome, again, it's a little controversial. There have been practitioners that say it doesn't even exist, that uh, this compression is just random, that it doesn't cause the symptoms that uh, are associated with what we think is, is the disease. But having uh, seen these patients, having been with them through their extensive workup, and then afterwards operated on them uh, to release the median arc uh, ligament and have their pain essentially disappear, I would say that in well-selected patients, and that includes having gone through an extensive workup, seen multiple medical providers, multiple pediatric specialists as well, but having well-selected them and made sure that they really are a very good candidate for this procedure, I'm very happy that our results have been positive. And my own opinion, although I was skeptical in the beginning, I really do think that the disease does exist that there is a benefit to these uh, patients if we go ahead and we perform a minimal invasive procedure with um, a minimal invasive uh, procedure along with the vascular surgeons. And again, we've had uh, good results with, uh, with, uh, with this procedure laparoscopically so far. When we're seeing or evaluating these patients, it's both a vascular surgeon that performs these uh, procedures more commonly than uh, than I do along uh, in pediatric surgery, again, because it's an uncommon disease and there's not a lot of people performing these procedures in, in adolescence. And so we have an evaluation with the vascular surgeon and they need to agree that it does make sense to go ahead with the procedure. They see myself, they see a pediatric specialist. And we perform these procedures together, we meaning the vascular surgeon and myself. They are in the room throughout the procedure to make sure that the procedure does go well. There's a small little issue that's related to adults that we haven't seen in adolescence, and that is that the artery itself, once the median arcuate ligament has been released, in adults often can stay stenosed or stay tight. It's just been compressed for so long that even though you release all the fibers, it's just scarred down. We haven't seen that in adolescence so far, and so they haven't needed any procedures or any stents or any patches or really any other interventions, these uh, adolescents still have a pliable artery. And so once we release that ligament and it's free, it has a nice pulsatile flow. We check it postoperatively with ultrasounds to make sure that the flow really has returned to its uh, normal uh, velocities or normal flow. And um, that's something just to consider that's a little bit different than the adult population. In the pediatric population we've had, we have not seen any stenosis just yet, and that's good for them. That means that, we're, um, that we need to do less uh, procedures for them instead of more.